The Sport Lawn Bowls is a passive and non-physically demanding game. Lawn Bowls matches take between 2.5 and, and 3.5 and hours. Around 62% of time is spent waiting, 9% bowling and 24% walking. That is, 21 ends, around 672 metres. Bowler's heart rate is around 107, near the adult resting heart rate. Lawn Bowls is mentally challenging. Mental fitness and challenges can make or break a team. An online poll found bowls topped importance of analytic and tactical ability, motivation and confidence, and to cope with pressure. Team roles. The lead places the mat and rolls the jack and creates shots in the head. The second gets bowls close to and behind the jack. The third also uses shots and tactics to attack opposition shots. The skip manages the head, develops strategy and calls shots of players. The competition is ACT Men's Pennants, played over 10 to 15 weeks in autumn. Teams consist of 12 players in three teams of four. Each team of four has a lead, a second, a third and a skip. The top four teams play the finals to win the coveted pennant. This is the Lawn Bowls Fours team from Tuggeranong Vikings Grade 2 Pennant Team. Players are lead Phil Henson, second Damien Grosvenor, third Malcolm Gunner and skip Brian Smith. Lawn Bowls practice is a roll-up. Practice is not considered essential for Tuggeranong Vikings pennant teams. For an all-grades pennant practice session in week 5, 10 of the 70 players and reserves attended. Players are generally expected to manage their own preparation. Players were asked each week about practice. Three played social games. There were a few roll-ups. This lack of training was evident in low percentage of success with bowls delivered by all players. This analyst's interest was to gather data on player performance in order to provide feedback to suggest ways players could improve their performance. As the study progressed, it became evident that none of the players valued or engaged in practice to improve performance. As a result, the analyst's goal then became to identify areas of weakness in skill, consistency and mental preparedness and develop a model training program to prepare players for the 2020 season. Metrics Description for this analysis, two lots of data were collected, player surveys, two, and performance data. Pre- and post-game Google Forms surveys were given to each player. They asked about preparedness, tiredness, game difficulty, mental, physical and tactical, emotion and optimism. Performance data. This analyst collected data about every bowl bowled by every player. Data collected included round number, end number, length of end, end result, end score, player, hand played, shot played, weight achieved, line achieved, shot success and shot result. Analysis and interpretation. Issues to investigate covered performance and well-being. Analysis. There were several specific issues this analyst wanted to investigate. They were performance, hand played, shot success, line and weight and well-being, attitude, confidence and practice. General issues. There's not a lot of data available on bowls consistency. Judson suggests players at pennant grade 2 should deliver a mean of 1.2 distance from the jack. Bowls Canada suggests players in interclub competitions bowl within 1 metre length and 60 centimetre width 70% of the time. In this study, when a bowl was delivered greater than 1 metre to the right, left, front or behind the jack, it was recorded as wide, narrow, short or heavy. Results The team performed below that expected of players at this level. Line achieved. Here, on average, players delivered within one metre on target 68% of the time. Weight achieved. Here, on average, players delivered weight within one metre on target 53% of the time. Perceived difficulty. The lead and second reported mental, physical and tactical difficulty as easy to average. Third is average and the skip most often is difficult. The lead and second just draw shots. The third and skip have more pressure to resolve problems and rest shots from the opposition. Lead performance. The lead achieved line at the expected rate 72% and weight 14% below that expected. The lead played 76% forehand round the clock but performed backhand marginally better. About hand played. 
The Royal New South Wales Bowling Association State Coaching Committee suggests the lead should identify and play the best side of the green. To play the easier side of the rink may have improved consistency. The lead did not think about games before they occurred. He had one social game a fortnight and rolled up once throughout the season. The lead most often described feelings prior to play as indifferent and frustrated post-game. There may be motivation issues the skip or coach will need to address. Second performance. The second bowled somewhat below expected performance in both line 66% and weight 51%. The second played backhand 74% round the clock but performed 5% better on forehand. The second did not think about the game prior to play. He had one roll up all season. The second had mostly positive thoughts about the game before and after. Third performance. The third bowled line within expectation, 70%. His weight was below par at 48%. 35% were heavy, which is expected when thirds attempt to play weight to remove opposition shots or cover back bowls. The third played forehand 44% and backhand 56%, though he was more successful on his forehand. The third thought about the game beforehand a few times during the season. Most weeks he played two social games and had one roll-up during the season where he practiced correct weight drills. The third was generally positive in his attitude before and after the game, though on occasion felt some frustration post-game. Skip performance. The skip tended to rely on his ability to draw shots or play weight to win ends. Both his line, 62%, and weight, 56%, were below par. Only 16% of his draw shots were successful and 6% of his weighted shots. The skip didn't direct jack length. This removed the option to play the opposition's unfavoured length or to throw them off to gain advantage. There are eight tactics a skip may call or play. These include cover against the jack moves back to opposition bowls, remove opposition shots, trail, move the jack back to your team's bowls at the back, drive, fast powerful delivery to move the jack, remove shot bowl or kill the end for replay. 78% of shots the skip called were draw shots, 2% were cover shots, 6% were to remove opposition shots, 14% were to play general weight. The skip rarely, if at all, called other shots. The Sun City Centre Lawn Bowling Club Handbook for Vices and Skips suggests the skip should call all shots for their team members. In this case, the skip called only 23% of shots. He left tactical decisions up to the individual player. Prior to each game, the skip reported feeling calm and mellow. After each game, he was mostly happy, but on occasion felt frustrated. The skip played two social games most weeks during season, but did not roll up. What to practice? The core of lawn bowls is to deliver bowls close to the jack, a line and weight on target. To practice line and weight consistently are vital for good performance in lawn bowls. The third and skip need to deliver good tactical shots and identify, plan and execute good tactics. The recommended training programs for each player are as follows. The lead's core training focus should be weight as he delivered a significant number of heavy and short bowls. As he works full-time, this analyst suggests the lead has two skill-focused roll-ups after work and one social game per fortnight during the season. The focus should be weight drills for a variety of lengths. The second bowled a significant number of both heavy and short bowls. Often when his weight was on target, he bowled narrow or wide. This suggests his training should focus on skill consistency. As the second works full time, this analyst recommends three roll ups after work per week during the season. The roll up should focus both line and weight drills. The research by Burse et al. suggests that players who play backhand tend to be more successful on shorter ends. It's recommended he practice both forehand and backhand at short, medium, and long lengths. The third is a relatively consistent player who has some success with tactical shots. The third's line was generally within expected results, however his weight was somewhat inconsistent. There were many short bowls. To play controlled weight is an important skill for thirds. This analyst recommends that when the third plays social games, he plays a skip to practice tactical analysis and shots. 
He needs two tactical skill roll-ups each week to practice weighted shots to remove opposition bowls, trail the jack or kill the end. The skip has areas of weakness in consistency in line and whether he bowled short, on target or heavy. This analyst recommends that when the skip plays social games, he plays a skip in order to practice his tactical analysis and shots. He should have one skill and one tactical roll-ups each week. He should also observe one game a week and analyse player tactics. Roll-ups should alternate between line and weight drills. The tactical roll-up should be drills to play weighted shots to remove opposition bowls, trail the jack or kill the end. In general, most players felt relatively tired after each game. This analyst recommends 5 kilometers walk weekly to build stamina and time in the gym to build strength. Activities include arm weights, squats, stretches, sit-ups and bends. This will help players to cope with the physical actions required in bowls. Critical reflection. For the initial purpose, the monitoring system provides good data for the players to analyze their performance. For the adjusted goal, there are a few areas where the monitoring system may have been improved. Adjustments, performance data, only results which scored shot or second shot or cut out opposition bowls were recorded. It would have been better to record results according to the shot attempted. This would have better enabled analysis of tactical shot success. It might also have been beneficial to apply the Judson methodology to assess bowls consistency and accuracy and measure distance from the bowl to the jack. Well-being data. One imagines if players engaged in training there would be more to report. As it stood there was little benefit to record most well-being measures which impacted the skip and the third somewhat but not generally the lead and the second. There was little analysis and adaptation possible based on well-being measures.